Dex Physiotherapy. Today I am uh, discussing on how to manage varicose vein through physiotherapy and I am giving a knowledge about what is varicose vein, what actually it is and how we can uh, tackle without surgery and without medication. Uh, generally everyone knows the varicose vein is a swelling of the vein, uh, it's usually in the femoral vein. It is running from the body, from the pelvis to the lower limb up to your uh, uh, foot. I am going to show where it is exactly uh, taking place. We can see this video, it is uh, uh, the image. This is a vein, uh, start from the pelvis in the groin region and it is uh, uh, going and is applying to the medial aspect of the thigh. From there it is going to the leg and then to the feet. There, what we know the general thing, the varicose vein usually comes uh, due to the, uh, the thinking is uh, uh, the deficiency or inefficiency of the valves. It is unable to take the blood to the upper area. But according to my experience and I am treating a lot of patients and varicose veins and I am getting a 100% result, I am going to prove that Nowadays, varicose vein earlier they used to say is due to only because of lag standing or uh, is due to only who people they do like uh, standing job or marketing job, those people only they are getting. But it is absolutely wrong concept. The varicose vein usually is due to because of lower back uh, problem. Nowadays, what I am going to explain this to the general public, not to undergo for surgery unnecessarily simply damaging your leg, foot, whatever the things. I, I am proving the things. The varicose vein usually comes due to because of the lower back pain. Sometimes it is a asymptomatic means the symptoms will not be there in the back pain, but it is a compression of the femoral now at the level of L2, L3, L4. I am going to show one more picture about uh, L2, L3, L4 compression. And this uh, pictures you can see here, uh, this is the femoral now, it uh, takes place origin from L2, L3, L4 and it is running towards the, uh, is from the anterior aspect of the pelvis and then it transfers to the thigh bone and uh, is the femur and then it is comes to the medial aspect of the uh, uh, medial or inner aspect of your uh, thigh and then it transfers to the middle aspect of the knee and then it runs to the feet. This is what actually is going on. The Every individual, they have only concentrate on the femoral uh, vein, but they won't think about the femoral nerve. The basic thing, whichever uh, the blood vessel, it should work uh, in an efficient way. The nervous system is so important. The, whenever the nervous system gets compressed, it is uh, not able to send a signal to the limb. Uh, it affects to the circulation of the part. So, uh, People, maximum people who suffering the 90 to 100 percent, what I can say, the varicose vein, they start after uh, even uh, pregnancy. In pregnancy, what basic things is changing because in the uh, third trimester, seven to nine months, the fetus growing more faster, so more pressure and the spine shape will be changed the completely. So that is also uh, pressurized on the lower back region that is L2, L3, L4. So it compresses the femoral nerve. Through that, the vein is not efficiently functioning. So the art, the way it is not able to bring back the blood to the normal area. So that is also one of the major factor. And another factor is the there is a more people nowadays they are working in a sitting position. The, there's a there are most of the people they work in a software uh, profession or they are doing more uh, two wheeler riding. That is also the cause of one of the cause for the varicose vein because the iliopsoas muscle become tight. So uh, that is also is a major muscle, so it's in the femoral triangle or it is in the pelvis region. That tightness will uh, create the uh, compression of the femoral nerve. That is a, one of the major cause for this varicose vein as well as the, of the knee pain and knee swelling also. Uh, this, what, uh, how we can manage, it's a simple uh, method, uh, nothing to take any medication, nothing to go undergo for any surgeries. Uh, we can manage very simple manner uh, that is a we have to stretch the iliopsoas or stretch the quadriceps muscles and take a regular traction for the spine and uh, we can manage with the stretchings general yoga stretchings 
so if you practice the method so we can get back the release the femoral nerve or decompress the femoral nerve at the lumbar level so automatically and stretches the freeze the femoral nerve at the femoral triangle so automatically the femoral artery and the weight will function efficiently so we can uh, the artery flow will become very effective so a venous flow will be also be uh, uh, efficiently it moves towards the uh, upper body this is one of the easiest method we can manage uh, 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 this varicose vein the most of the conditions they are going for uh, surgery so it creates chronic venous insufficiency and uh, this uh, vasculitis plebitis so many other sort of uh, problems swelling uh, the gangrene these things we can avoid very simple way how we can manage through physiotherapy i'm going to explain the physiotherapy methods how how we can manage if any any patients come with a varicose vein uh, problem just palpate or uh, just you have to uh, uh, patient examination when a patient on prone lying you have to uh, palpate with the pressure in the uh, thinner or hypothenar eminence with the forcibly we have to press the lumbar region at the l2 l3 l4 any level the patient will be complaining of pain and you can and the root the the, the medial aspect of the thigh or in the below the knee you can palpate the nerve root so patient will complaining about the pain and these are the basic factors and after that how we can manage this is the best modality is how you can choose the modality is the best modality is in physiotherapy what till date i am seeing this is short wave diathermy you can use a short wave diathermy for the loosening of uh, tissues through heating one you can pad you can keep it at the lumbar level another one you can keep it at the uh, both the lower limb or a single limb uh, at the calf muscles so the entire area the femoral nerve or the femoral artery of vein this area will become get very deep heat so that the circulation will be helpful and followed by you can go for the traction for the lumbar region or inversion therapy if you have inversion uh, table you can go for inversion therapy and uh, followed by you have to do the spinal mobilization that is you can do mulligan or uh, mulligan mobilization so if you start this uh, spinal mobilization and followed by stretching a uh, iliopsoas this stretching of iliopsoas uh, and also you can teach some patients uh, they can sit with the uh, even who are working in a sitting profession they can only sit with the like cross leg sitting i will show as a video in this uh, video itself you have to sit with the stretching of the thigh the stretching of thigh with the cross leg if you stretch continuously the thigh in a downward automatically stretches the iliopsoas if you keep it for a minute or two minutes or five minutes up to you can uh, this stretching will helpful for uh, patients to stretch the iliopsoas so femoral artery and femoral vein will function efficiently and you, you can also stretch in a supine lying the same uh, stretching and uh, uh, either you can go for any uh, iliopsoas stretching method the standard stretching method so you can also go for a uh, uh in a yoga we can call it as a vajrasana or supta vajrasana in the state the complete folding of knee and lying down on the back these postures will helpful to uh, bring back the femoral artery in the vein and we can stretch the quadriceps muscle so automatically the circulation will improve after traction and stretching you can also give uh, stimulation that's a tens or uh, ift from the back that's a l1 l2 level you can keep a one uh, Uh, electrode and you can keep one electrode on a medial aspect of the uh, above ankle the medial aspect of the um, uh, 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 femoral bone uh, tibial bone this uh, conduction will uh, contract the uh, varicose uh, this uh, femoral artery and vein so automatically conduction uh, the changes will take place this is effective methods you can see in a two days you will get a very effective result um this is one of the best method to treat a varicose vein uh, without surgically and it's a very conservative method is a highly effective rather than a surgical methods uh, thanking you for watching uh, uh, this madex uh, physiotherapy please subscribe and share your the videos thank you